Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for another daily energy and guidance reading. And today I'm using the angel reading cards. And this is a deck by Debbie Malone. And let's get started with the reading. You may use this as a pick a card reading, card one, two, or three, or as a blended reading with all three cards. Uh, today is April the 16th, 2020, although I consider this timeless, so whenever you see the reading is when you are meant to receive its message. And for the first card, I'll take a card off the top. Second card, I'll take a card from the middle. And the last card will be a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Having a problem with my new camera, but we'll get it right. Okay, that seems a little better. And the first card is Angel of Manifestation. And what an interesting card this is. We have a woman lying down, and there's an angel up here. There's a house, a new job. It looks like new love. There's two people under the umbrella here. And this is card number 34 for those of you who are into numerology. And this whole deck is amazing. And the energy that's coming from this card is just truly amazing as well. And it says, you've received this card because your angel of manifestation has heard your prayers for guidance on how you can manifest your wishes and turn them into reality. It is always important when you wish to manifest something into fruition that you take the time to really think about what you want. And the gift of manifestation is a very powerful tool. So it's extremely important that whatever it is that you wish to manifest is for your highest and purest good. It should not be about causing harm to others. Remember that what you think you create, so at this time in your life, it's important for you to only think positive thoughts. When you decide what you wish to manifest, visualize it and spend your time facilitating this outcome. Every waking and sleeping moment, it is important that you send positive energy about the manifestation. It's also important to remember that your wishes do not manifest overnight. Be patient because everything happens with divine timing. And that's so true. And everything happens in divine order. Um, and I always say to people, well, you know, maybe you're not able to manifest a partner right now because the person that you're meant to be with may be with someone else and they need to end that relationship first. Or say maybe the job that you want isn't available right now. There's still a person uh, doing that job and that person has to vacate that position before it becomes available to you. So don't lose hope. Okay, everything is in divine timing and divine order. I am a firm believer of that. And if you don't believe, then your outcome will not be possible. So you've got to still keep the faith no matter how long it's taking for whatever it is that you want to manifest to happen. Focus all your positive energy into your outcome and believe it's possible. Without belief, nothing is possible. With the belief, the sky is the limit. And so do not get discouraged if things are not happening as quickly as you expect. And I know I'm not the most patient person either, but I've learned that if something happens before it's time, I'm not going to have any luck with it. So trust the divine timing that whenever this is meant to be, it's going to be, and it's going to be for your highest good. And, you know, maybe whatever the situation is, I'm just getting this from spirit. Let me throw this out there. Maybe whatever the situation that you're meant to be in, you still need to gain more knowledge and wisdom before you can actually manifest it into reality. Say you wanted to be a counselor and there were still some life lessons that you needed to learn before you could actually have the compassion and humility that would be necessary for that. Or say it's a job that you want and maybe you still need more schooling, more, more skills. Or maybe it's a relationship issue that you've had over repeatedly by choosing the wrong people. And, you know, you need to 
learn from your mistakes before and and truly release and let go of any other you know relationship issues you have before you could actually enter into that healthy relationship that you deserve so there's a lot going on behind the scenes even though we may not see it and then the next card is angel of families and what a beautiful card this is too and this is card number 19 and it's saying you've received this card because you have concerns about your family or a specific family member. Wow, this is really hitting me hard because this has been a situation since last summer uh, that has, I won't even go into details, but th this card truly resonates with me. And I actually picked card number two. And I'm sure whoever picked card out, card number two, a lot of you out there something's going on with a family, your family or a specific family member. Your angels of family is here to help and guide you and your family during your time of need. Like everyone at times, you will have concerns about your loved ones and it's hard to find a solution when you are stressed or worried. If a family member is suffering from an illness, terminal or otherwise, your angel of families will send them assistance if a loved one has recently passed over to the spiritual realm, the angel of families will help with connecting your loved one in spirit to family members who are still alive. And your angel of families acts as a go-between uh, from the spirit realm to the earthly realm to give you messages, guidance, and healing from the other side. Your angel of families also assists your deceased loved ones while he or she adjusts to their new surroundings in the spirit realm. Yeah, that is absolutely true and i do feel the presence of my grandfather during this hard time that i've been going through and the dove that shows up each morning at my home to let me know that the holy spirit is with me as well um, and then there's this cardinal that seems to show up at times when i really need some reassurance and they say that they may be souls that have passed on you know, family members that have passed on to let you know that they're still with you. And the striking bright red feathers of the cardinal like really captures your eye. And it, it shows up to bring your attention to it. The, the dark red cardinals are the male cardinals and the lighter colored ones, kind of a pinkish color are the females. And I really don't see that many of those, you know, maybe one every couple years, but there's been this red cardinal that's been uh, outside every once in a while that catches my eye. And a lot of you out there may, you know, find pennies on the ground. You know, they say pennies from heaven or feathers. These are all signs, you know, from the spiritual realm that, you know, anyone that has passed on is watching over you and, and making sure that you're okay. This card is also about if, you know, a member in your family is experiencing fertility issues, you may wish to ask your angel of families to be of direct assistance during this person's fertility journey. If your family's undergone a crisis, such as an accident, disaster, flood, fire, or significant loss of finances due to family losing a job or business, and aren't we all feeling that now with this quarantine and people losing their jobs and, you know, being furloughed, laid off? You know, it's been really crazy with people's finances and, you know, just the angel of families will assist you with protecting you and your family during this time that we're going through. You know, it's the job of the angel of families to provide all the strength and guidance that you need to make informed decisions at this time. So very beautiful, beautiful card for card number two. And then card number three. Oh, the burst of color in this card. Those balloons just really drew my attention in these beautiful, these uh, beautiful, colorful flowers in this, this meadow. And how appropriate because I'm in the Northern Hemisphere and I was taking pictures of flowers yesterday. I like to do a time lapse where I take them every few days showing when the buds just emerge and then as they slowly but surely open up. And it's a beautiful beautiful time of year. Spring is the time of rebirth, uh, the time of new beginnings. And this is the card angel of release. And this is card number 31. 
and uh, it's just such a beautiful, peaceful energy e emitting from this card. Those colorful flowers and balloons really captured my attention. You've received this card because your angel of release wants you to help let go of any concerns or worries that you're currently experiencing. She's by your side guiding and assisting you to see your new life from a new perspective. And yeah, it looks like this woman is, is ready to release these balloons on the card. It does. It looks like she's ready to release them in the air now that I look at it. You may have become so worried about a certain situation that you can't see your way clear to move forward and progress. Your angel of release wants to help you find alternative paths so that you can move forward and past your current obstacle. She wants you to worry only about what you can change and take focus off things you can't. That's like the serenity prayer, you know, help me to change the things I could and you know, something like that where and accept the things I cannot change and to know the difference. And that's very true for all of us. I mean, there are just things in this life that you have to surrender, that you've tried all you can try. You did all you could do. You did your best. You have no regrets and still things didn't work out, but it's okay. It's okay because something better would be right around the corner. During your life, your experiences, challenges, all test your strength and resilience. Your present challenge will teach you how to be strong and resilient. Instead of becoming angry or frustrated about this experience, use it as a time to learn. Think about what you're willing to accept in your life and sort through the things that you do not want. And, you know, that is just so, so true in every situation. When a challenge or something unfortunate happens, instead of going into the victim mode like we all do, we've all done it, myself included, you know, why is this happening to me? How could this happen? I, I'm a good person, this and that. But you know what? Ask yourself, what could I learn from this experience? What is this trying to teach me? Because I'll tell you, if you don't learn the lesson, it's going to keep repeating itself. And it takes a while to start looking at things that way because we naturally gravitate towards the doom and gloom aspect when bad things happen. Like, oh my goodness, why is this happening? Truly, it's happening because spirit wants you to become stronger and wiser so you can maybe help other people through what you're going through. Now's the time to sit quietly in a relaxed position. Gently close your eyes and visualize the issue you're concerned about. Imagine that the issue is brightly colored butterfly. If you have more than one issue, imagine a different colored butterfly for each issue. Feel the presence of your angel of release beside you. Gently let go of all the issues you are concerned about and watch the butterflies flutter up among the clouds and disappear into a brilliant white light. As they fly higher and higher, the light becomes brighter and brighter around you. Feel the freedom and shift within you as these worries are surrendered to the light with the assistance of your angel of release. And you'll feel much lighter too. When you release and you, you know, give it to God or whomever you're following, when you surrender it, you just feel like a, a brick has been lifted off your chest because it just feels so heavy when you have these situations that you've done everything you could humanly do to straighten a situation out with a job situation, family member, partner, lover, you know, whatever it may be, it weighs on you. It weighs you down. But try that visualization of you releasing these butterflies up into the atmosphere and allow yourself to feel like a burden is being lifted off your chest and release it. Let it go. What's meant for you to have, if it's a certain person or family member or lover, it will be. If it's not, release it, let it go, and make room for something better to enter your life. What a powerful reading today. And these are amazing cards with amazing messages. If you've enjoyed this reading, please uh, share it, like it by giving it a thumbs up, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.